Question here from Jim Ryan. My local drives that were synced with Google Drive now have a question mark next to them and I can't access the files. How do I fix that? I'm gonna assume that a question mark next to a Google Drive file means something like maybe you had your Google Drive synchronized to an external drive on your computer, like a USB drive of some sort, or maybe you had something like a D drive or an E drive or an F drive in your local storage, and that was changed. That's really the only scenario that Google could lose access to a certain set of files. But I'm gonna Google it for you just to triple check and let's see what it comes up with. So what this could potentially be is somebody who is currently using the new version of Google Drive. All right, let's do a little history lesson. In the past, Google Drive worked like something like Dropbox and Google Drive would basically synchronize a local copy of all of your files to online Anytime you put a file in there, it would synchronize back and forward. But what ended up happening was Dropbox and Google Drive folders got really, really big. And so what we would have to do at that point in time was to choose something called Selective Sync. And with Selective Sync, we would have to choose which folders we would want to synchronize down to the local desktop and which folders we would want to keep online. And that looked something like this. So Selective Sync in Google Drive. Let's see if I can find some uh, images about it. Um, yeah, here we go. So you would actually literally be like ticking and unticking boxes to choose which files or which folders you had showing up on the local desktop. Then Google did something magic and they created this app called Google Drive File Stream. And Google Drive File Stream did something pretty cool. It created a virtual drive on your computer. And that virtual drive on your computer basically allowed you to see into the whole of your Google Drive without having to do any selective sync. And it was basically just a trick. It was tricking your operating system, whether you were on a Mac or a Windows PC, to see everything inside your Google Drive. And that's how things still work today. So if I, for example, open up on my local computer, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Google Drive here, I can see every single file inside my my drive and there are hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes if not terabytes inside my my drive here i also have all of my shared drives which is every single file right across the whole company that i manage and so every single one of my files are right here now is every single one of those files on my local desktop computer no they are all online but anytime i go to open one of those files if i open the downloads folder it's going to automatically on the fly download those files as I open them. And it does this very quickly because we have fast internet connections now and it's able to cache some of those files, which is like it pre-downloads some of them, some of the ones using AI that it thinks maybe we're going to want to access. So let's bring it back to this person who's having the problem with their files and they're seeing a question mark around the drive that is sitting on their computer. What that typically means in my experience is that someone's Google Drive app has crashed on their computer and it's not running. And so, you know, restarting the computer will relaunch the app and once the app is relaunched, it'll start working again. And there's a little telltale sign here that this person doesn't actually have a visible Google Drive app sitting in their app drawer at the moment down here. So what's probably happened is the Google Drive app has crashed or quit or switched off or maybe it was running an update and it stopped, but now that person is no longer able to see their files. So what's the solution here? If you've got a question mark sitting over your Google Drive on either a Mac or a PC, make sure that you restart the Google Drive app. You may need to run an update. You may need to install the latest version. You might need to just restart your computer for it to relaunch and then everything should be good to go. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.